Hey y'all, what's up? My name is Avery, and today is the start of the Kindle Unlimited Weekend Readathon. <laughs> If you did not know, me and nine other booktube ladies are hosting a readathon from the 27th of December to the 29th of December, trying to read as many Kindle Unlimited books as we possibly can in those three days. I'm super duper excited. It is midnight right now, the start of the 27th. I just filmed a video and I am currently editing it, uh, so I'm not going to start reading just yet. Um, I actually go out of town in a couple of hours. I don't know if I'm going to get a lot of reading done before. I go to sleep. <laughs> I probably should already be asleep right now, but I really want to edit this video so that I have a video to post when I'm out of town. I think while I pack before I go to sleep, I'm going to be listening to Full Tilt by Emma Scott. This was not on my TBR video for the readathon. <laughs> I found other recommendations, so uh, I really want to read these too. I don't know anything about this book except that it has to deal with either a chronic illness or a disease of some sort. I've been really meaning to get into more books that deal with chronic illnesses or diseases since I have a chronic illness and a disease. I've been wanting to get more into those and maybe put together my own recommendations video involving that. So this is the first step. Uh, I'm really excited for this. I've been hearing great things about this book. I believe it is either a nine or ten hour audiobook, which I read books on two times speed so I can get done pretty fast. I'm actually going to be the person driving the car uh, later today in a couple of hours, so I will have my headphones in and we'll be listening to this book when I drive. <laughs> Savannah wanted to say hello. Um, anyways, I am going to go get to uh, finish editing this video so that it can be ready to post later. <laughs> and I might have a little midnight snack because I didn't really eat any dinner and I am starving and um then I might listen to a little bit of Full Tilt when I pack for my trip. So anyways, I will chat with you all later when I have more of a reading update and maybe a little bit more of a summary for Full Tilt. Hey y'all, what's up? It's the next day. I just have a package. I'm actually leaving in like 30 minutes to go out of town. I am an hour and a half into Full Tilt by Emma Scott. I'm really enjoying it so far. So from what I gather, it is about a uh, woman who is in a band but she's like an alcoholic and in a, in a very low place in her life and then her limo driver's name is Jonah he's the limo driver for her band at the time for that night and um, something happens to where he cannot like drop her off at her house because it's locked and he doesn't want to leave this woman who is passed out from all of this alcohol and partying um, leave her on the streets because there's nowhere else to bring her so he brings her back to his apartment to sleep on his couch and he is the one with the chronic illness or disease or disorder um, I believe he had a heart condition he had a heart transplant in the first chapter so I'm excited to see what happens there I didn't know that it was a, like a rock star romance-esque story which isn't really my cup of tea I don't really like rock star romances but in the past it's always been a guy who's the rock star or famous person i've never read one with a where a woman is one so maybe i'll feel differently about this first hour and 30 minutes is pretty great anyway i'm gonna unbox this now and i believe it's from steph from never entertainment sorry for the very loud dogs oh my goodness this book is beautiful we have romanoff by nadine brandis oh, thank you so much steph this is gorgeous she said she said that she loved this book she hopes that I do too. Aw, Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year, Steph. Thank you so much for this. I absolutely love Steph so much. Please go check out her channel. It is linked down below. This is an Anastasia retelling, if I'm not, if I'm not mistaken. And I love Anastasia with every fiber of my being. <laughs> Movie growing up was my life. I love it a lot. So I'm excited to have this. And it's very short, way shorter than I thought it would be. Um, but I'm really excited. Anastasia retelling. I'm very happy. Thank you so much, Steph, for sending this my way. I have to clean my room a little bit before I head out. I'm waiting on my sister. I'm all packed, ready to go. I'm waiting on my sister to be packed and ready to go. We're leaving in, like, 30 minutes. Um, so maybe I can get a little bit of Penny's Protector in. Because that's definitely the highest priority book on the list that I want to read because I'm so excited for being caught up in the Ice Home Ice Planet Barbarian series. But anyways, I will chat with y'all later when I have more of an update. Hi everyone, it's many hours later. Um, we're in the cabin that we stay at when we go out of town. I listened to the audiobook The Whole Ride here for Full Tilt by Emma Scott. I'm really enjoying it. It's so good. It's so good. I have four hours left. I want to finish it tonight. I'm really excited. 
hopefully I can finish it tonight because I have four hours left and I read on two times speed so maybe two hours um, before I go to bed and listen to it so I might be able to finish a book in a day. Anyways, I have to go hang out with some people so I will chat with y'all later. <laughs> Hey y'all, it is the next day for the readathon. It is Saturday. I completed a book last night. I completed Full Tilt by Emma Scott and I loved it. I'm sitting over here one o'clock in the morning working on my bullet journal crying with headphones in with like my family <laughs> on the other side of this fireplace cry <laughs> it was so good i highly recommend this one this is definitely going to be on my recommendation list for romances with chronic illnesses or diseases i cried like all night thinking about it it was really good i have started penny's protector by ruby dixon i am 10% of the way through. I already think it's gonna be better than the last book that I read, which was Callie's Catastrophe. So I'm really excited about that. I thought I would show my bullet journal because uh, I feel like this vlog is gonna be very lackluster because I'm in a cabin that's very tiny with uh, four other people. So it's hard to find time to vlog because I don't really like vlogging with other people around me or in the house. I can only find times here and there to vlog. I also downloaded Eleanor and Gray for my next audiobook listen. This is my bullet journal. It is a yellow one I got off of Amazon. I really wanna get stickers for the cover to make it look pretty and then I'm gonna open it. I still haven't done a little cover page. I'm gonna do like a little cute 2020 thing on this page, I think. And then this is my to read shelf to be read it's basically my bookcase of all the books i haven't read yet and it's gonna probably be filled in more as the year goes on because i'm gonna fill it in as i haul books and whenever i finish a book i'm going to highlight color in the book i haven't filled this one in yet but these are going to be my 2020 releases calendar i kind of corresponded the uh, months with a certain color that's going to be like a constant thing throughout the bullet journal then i have a subscriber tracker list if you see here more the, the uh, months are color coordinated I have each month with the uh i'm going to put the number of subscribers that i have at the end of that month um just to keep track something fun to look back on. And then I have this gem. This is probably the one I'm most proud of on this page. It has literally like nothing on it. This is my Goodreads challenge for 2020. I plan to read hopefully 100 books. And so what I did was this goes in increments of five. Uh, so each petal is five. So I will color in a petal when I've read five books, 10, 15, 20. So in the end, when I completed my Goodreads challenge, I will have a beautiful, colorful, flower and then i made this page it's just books i dnf'd did not finish because they're going to be some in the year of 2020 for sure and then this is the page that indicates that this is going to be the start of my monthly wrap-ups in january february and it just keeps going on um i've done all the way up to july so far i'm really enjoying this i love to be crafty and um color so this is perfect for me and then i'm going to do uh hauls i'll figure out what i do next going forward <laughs> i'm really excited this is gonna be my first bullet journal that i think i'm actually going to stick to because i tried to do a bullet journal last year but it was halfway through the year and i felt weird doing it um because i didn't start out the year doing it so i'm excited to start out doing this but anyways i will chat with y'all later i'm gonna go read some of Penny's Protector on my iPad. <laughs> Sunday, the third day of the early.
Readathon, and I am 87% of the way through Penny's Protector by Ruby Dixon. I'm loving this one. <laughs> I'm really enjoying it way better than the previous book in the series. My favorite couple appears in this book, so I'm really happy about that. I am also maybe three and a half hours into Eleanor and Grey by Brittany C. Cherry. I am enjoying that one as well. <laughs> I've been reading some pretty awesome books during this readathon, so I'm very happy about that. It is a very, very cold day here, <laughs> so I've been on the porch swing cuddling up with this boy because he's keeping me very warm. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna get back to reading so I can finish Penny's Protector because I'm really, really enjoying it, and I will check in with y'all later. <laughs> Hi y'all, it's a couple hours later. Um, I finished Penny's Protector by Ruby Dixon. I really enjoyed it, giving it four stars. One of my favorites in the series for sure. <laughs> my favorites in the series for sure as I just said my favorite couple appears in this book and they're going to be in the spin-off series more often so I'm really excited because I love them a lot they're my favorite couple in the whole series I was just taking a walk down by the creek there's the creek right there <laughs> listening to Eleanor and Gray by Brittany C. Cherry this book is about Eleanor and Gray and when they were in high school they kind of had something but um, Eleanor's mom ended up being diagnosed with breast cancer. They moved to a different state uh, before anything could actually like really happen between Eleanor and Gray. So um, it takes place 15 years after that and Eleanor ends up getting the nannying position to Gray's children, I believe a 14 and a 5 year old. And his wife just recently passed away. So I guess it's them re-sparking everything back up. I'm really enjoying it so far. I really loved the chapters that was about them when they were younger so I'm excited to see what happens between them. I am going to finish my walk and listen to some more of my book. <laughs> everyone. It's actually the end of the readathon. Um, it ended last night. Sorry I couldn't really get that many clips in for this readathon. I haven't really had the time, unfortunately. I guess I wanted to wrap up this vlog. I read four things. Um, I didn't even update you about one of them because I started it way late last night and it was only 50 something pages. So firstly, I finished Full Tilt by Emma Scott. It is a book dealing with um, a heart condition and a romance between kind of like a, a rock star and a guy with a heart condition. A terminal heart condition. I really loved it. I gave that one five stars. I listened to that one through Audible Escape but it is on Kindle Unlimited. Then I read Penny's Protector by Ruby Dixon. I gave this one four stars. One of my favorites in the series. One of the main reasons is because of uh, my old favorite couple pops up, but also um, I really do love Penny and Sabrin. Those are the two characters in this one. So Penny is actually plus size. I love how she doesn't give a crap about losing any weight. She loves her body. She doesn't care if anyone even sees her naked. Like she loves her body and all of the curves that go with it. And so does Sabrin and I love that. And then I read, I think it's called Billionaire for Christmas by, I believe, Lori Baxter. Um, this was a 50-page Christmassy novella 
that I downloaded before Christmas, um, but I hadn't had a chance to read. This one I gave 3.5 out of 5 stars to. It was okay. There was no steam to it at all. It was actually less than 53 pages. The book ended at like 75% in the Kindle, so I thought it was going to last longer, but it didn't. My big complaint is that I wish it was longer. It would have been a great full-length novel in my opinion, because um, it's kind of like an office -y romance. It takes place at a company Christmas party and like a PR, the PR lady that works for, I think it's called a PR consultant that works for this big billionaire, has a big crush on the billionaire, but she'll never act on this crush because um, he's kind of like her boss, but little does she know that he also has a crush on her and tonight is the night he wants to tell her his feelings. And lastly, I completed Eleanor and Grey by Brittany C. Cherry. I loved this one. This is like, uh, this is a second chance romance between like high school sweetheart, first love, and they see each other again 15 years later. And this woman is going to be the nanny of this guy's kids. I bawled in this one in my bed listening to this audiobook. I loved it a lot. <laughs> Y'all let me know if the second book, uh, Landon and Shay, I believe, is as good as Eleanor and Grey because I kind of want to read it, but I don't know if I should. Um, so please let me know. I gave that book five stars for freaking sure. I loved it a lot. <laughs> Anyways, uh, I guess that's it for this readathon reading vlog. I'm sorry I don't have that much content. I am on vacation in a place where there's no service and a bunch of people that can hear me all the time. But anyways, I'll chat with y'all later in the next video. Bye!